Hey guys, it's Creative Earth here again in the final segment of this series, What Do I Do With My Hair? And today I'm going to be talking about products and styling. Now, I know many of us have become product junkies. I'm guilty of it. Um, I wouldn't say I'm as bad as some people, mainly because I just don't have the budget to constantly buy products all the time. But I do like to get certain products from particular brands because, yes, I am partial to certain brands. However, I do like to try different things, especially if I've seen videos from other YouTubers who've tried this and that. Um, but sometimes it's overwhelming because you want to try everything and see if this works for you because it looked really good on her. And I want to try this too. So we buy it and buy more stuff and buy more stuff. And then our bathrooms are full of products. And most likely you're not using all 50 of those products at the same time. So how do I narrow down to say which products are really going to be good for you? Well, hopefully you've seen my other previous videos, whether you've seen all of them or those that have applied more so to you. Um, because depending on your hair type and your hair porosity, as well as density, those are going to determine which products are going to be good for you. Now this doesn't determine the brand because most brands are either going to cater to all hair types or they're just going to have specific individual lines in their brand that will be geared towards your hair type. Now, sometimes you may want to get, I've realized and I've learned this also from other YouTubers that if you mix products from different brands sometimes your expected result is not going to look so great. It might work perfect for you but I've realized that using things within the same brand works better because they're usually made in the same company, made in the same factory. They have similar ingredients, even though there may be a few things here and there that are different, like, you know, different herbs or whatever. But using products from the same brand tends to work better, especially if you're doing a specific style. Um, now, I still mix up things here and there depending on what I need to do, but... If you really want to save yourself some time and money, I would recommend that you buy things that are within the same brand. So don't go buy two things from Miel Organics, two things from Shea Moisture, two things from ORS and blah, 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 TN, TGIN, all those different brands, and then try to combine all of that together. Because one thing is it's going to be hard for you when you need to re-up on all of those things then you're going to have to buy those things individual from there and there and there as opposed to getting things from the same brand because a lot of same brands will have coupons where it's buy one get one free or buy two get two free something like that so that's going to save you money if you keep things within the same brand now as far as styling um do protective styling protective styling like what i have now you know, and this is very quick and easy. Um, and it's not something that I'm probably going to leave in a really long time. And I do not recommend that you leave a protective style in more than six weeks. Definitely no more than eight weeks. Like if you have individual braids, you may keep it in longer than six weeks. But don't go above eight weeks. Uh, because you obviously can't wash your hair entirely and penetrate it and moisturize it entirely you can do some especially to your roots but you won't be able to get all of your hair so your hair is still going to be lacking in your regular maintenance that you would be doing either daily or weekly so do protective styling it doesn't always have to be you know braids or crochet sometimes you can just be a wig sometimes it can just be by uh, twisting or braiding your hair up and putting a scarf on it so that you don't look crazy with just little braids sticking out of your head but put a scarf on and you know style it up and at least that way it gives your hair a break 
being exposed to the elements as much. It's not being exposed to your hands and all this other stuff that makes it dirty. For those of you who want to straighten your hair a lot, stop doing it so much. I mean, it's just, that's just the way it is. If you really want your hair to grow and have a good curl pattern at the end of the day because your hair still may grow and you know you want to see oh how long did it grow I want to do a two month length check which I mean some people's hair really does grow a lot in two months mine doesn't um, I usually get to tell how much my hair is grown because I dye it and I dye it like every six months or so so I get to see a six month growth type of thing but um, so that's an easy way for me to see how much it's grown without me actually straightening it. But just don't be obsessed with how long your hair is getting. I mean, the main point is how healthy your hair is. It's not so much how long because you can have long hair and it can still be very unhealthy. Even people with straight hair, it's down their back, but it's not healthy because either they're not taking care of it or they don't know how to take care of it, but their hair is still growing because it's a living organism it's going to continue to grow but it's just not growing in the right way so put the heat away put your flat irons away you know still have them it's definitely not a problem you know to straighten your hair especially if it's a special occasion or you just want to have your hair out and have it straight but it's just not something that you want to do on a regular basis if you want to have a good curl pattern and not have a lot of heat damage so this is gonna wrap up my series with what do I do with my hair again these are tips that I have learned through my own trial and error with my own research and just letting my hair do what it wants to do sometimes so be patient know what your hair type is and how to really care for your hair and know which products are going to work best for your hair and stick with those products primarily as opposed to just trying the newest thing that is always out on the market because there's always going to be something new but stick with the things that work for you try things here and there but don't switch it up so much Alrighty, guys i will see you next time on my new venture of whatever and